Best Outdoor Places to Visit in Connecticut, Part 2. I've lived in Connecticut for quite a few years now, and I love grabbing my camera and capturing its beauty. This video features my favorite places to explore and take pictures. Due to the success of our first video on this topic, I had to create this second video using your suggestions. Thanks for the input. The places you suggested checking out were great. Here they are. Kent Falls State Park. Kent Falls State Park is a public recreation area located in the town of Kent, Connecticut. It's home to the Kent Falls, a series of waterfalls on Falls Brook, a tributary of the Housatonic River. The falls drop 250 feet under a quarter mile. Built next to the falls are a series of stairs and observation decks. It's fantastic viewing the falls from the very bottom to the very top and all of the places in between. Bring your camera and be prepared to take a lot of pictures. There's a ton of beautiful scenery, hiking, fishing, and picnicking. Lighthouse Point Park. Lighthouse Point Park is located in the city of New Haven, Connecticut. It's comprised of 82 acres and provides great views of downtown New Haven. It features the Five Mile Point Lighthouse. This 90-foot octagonal tower was constructed in 1847. It's made of brownstone, brick, and has a granite stairway. In the 1860s, a fog bell was added. The lighthouse reached the end of its use in 1877, but luckily it still exists today. The park also features a beach area, a carousel, a splash play area, a playground, a fishing pier, and trails. It's a great place to explore and collect images. West Cornwall Covered Bridge. The West Cornwall Covered Bridge is a wooden covered lattice truss bridge over the Housatonic River in the town of Cornwall, Connecticut. There have been many bridges located here possibly dating back to 1762. The current bridge was believed to have been constructed before or around 1864 and has received many renovations since. It has survived several threatening disasters over the years, such as flooding due to multiple hurricanes. In 1945, the bridge had to be repaired after a 20-ton oil truck fell through the bridge floor. The bridge was painted red for the very first time in 1957. It is one of only three surviving covered bridges in the state of Connecticut. It's a beautiful sight that you don't want to miss. Enders State Forest. Enders State Forest is a Connecticut state forest located in the towns of Granby and Barkhamstead. It consists of 2,098 acres of land including a waterfall trail that's about a half mile long. It has five diverse waterfalls featuring slides, plunges, cascades, and horsetails. These falls are known as Ender's Falls. These waterfalls are spectacular. There are stairs with railings and clear paths, which allows you to see a wide range of the falls safely. It's an exciting place to visit and take a ton of pictures. Don't forget to bring your camera. Seaside Sanatorium State Park. The Seaside was a medical facility in Waterford, Connecticut. It was built in 1934 by famed architect Cass Gilbert. It was designed to treat children with tuberculosis. It was thought that its fresh sea air and bountiful sunlight location could help cure the disease. The children there were all under the age of 14. The site would eventually be used as an elderly home and then as a center for the intellectually disabled. The buildings are empty now, and as a state park, you can walk the grounds and take beautiful and sometimes haunting photographs. It's definitely a great place to check out. It has so much character and personality. I often wonder what we would learn if these old building walls could talk. Seville Dam. 
Seville Dam is an earthen embarkment dam with masonry work in Bark Hampstead, Connecticut. When placing concrete, the contractors often work 24 hours a day, seven days a week building it. It was grueling. The dam was completed in May 1940. It's 130 feet tall and 1,950 feet long. The dam created the Bark Hampstead Reservoir, which is the primary water source for Hartford, Connecticut. The upper gatehouse tower looks like a castle or a chapel with its circular design. Some people find it romantic. It's a fine place for capturing images and I think that you will really enjoy it. Avery Point Lighthouse. Avery Point Lighthouse is a lighthouse in Groton, Connecticut on the Avery Point campus of the University of Connecticut. Construction of this lighthouse was completed in March 1943 during World War II, but wasn't lit until May 1944 to avoid a possible enemy invasion by sea. Its original light consisted of eight 200 watt bulbs, not very powerful when you think of today's lighting technology. It was named after Captain James Avery of New London, Connecticut. It's 55 feet tall. This lighthouse was deactivated on June 25, 1967. By the late 1990s, the lighthouse was in very bad shape. Luckily for all of us, in the early 2000s, it was restored and stands tall today. Picturesque as ever. Case Mountain. The Case Mountain Recreational Area is located in Manchester, Connecticut. It's made up of 640 acres of land. The property was originally owned by the Case family, industrialist who operated a paper mill and water bottling facility. Alfred and Albert Case, twin brothers, produced washed cotton supplied to the Union Army during the Civil War. Today, Case Mountain features trails for hiking and mountain biking. My favorite area is the waterfalls under the Case Pond Upper Dam. It's a beautiful and excellent place to capture images. It's also close to the Spring Street parking lot, so you don't have to walk far to get to it. Convenient if you don't have a lot of time. Fort Trumbull State Park. Fort Trumbull State Park is located in New London, Connecticut. In 1775, Governor Jonathan Trumbull recommended building a fortification at the port of New London to protect the seat of the government of Connecticut. Building was completed in 1777. It was attacked in 1781 during the American Revolutionary War and was captured by British forces under the command of Benedict Arnold. After its capture, the British burned New London. The fort was repaired around 1808 and has been redesigned and rebuilt several times since then and has been used for many purposes by the United States Army, Coast Guard, and Navy. The masonry fort that stands today was constructed between 1839 and 1852. In 2000, Fort Trumbull was opened as a state park and it's an amazing place to take pictures and video. I went to it on a foggy day, which gave a dramatic look in my opinion. Southford Falls State Park Southford Falls State Park is a public recreation area covering 126 acres in the towns of Oxford and Southbury, Connecticut. The park offers fishing, hiking, waterfalls, and a covered bridge over 8 Mile Brook. The flowing waters of Eight Mile Brook were once used to provide power for an early industrial complex made up of grist mills and sawmills, for example. Today, it's a great place to take in natural beauty. I find the falls to be incredibly photogenic and relaxing. It's even a great place to paint, as this man told me. I think that you will like it too, just don't forget your camera. Well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. In the comments section below, please tell me about your favorite places to capture video or still images, and I'll do my best to check them out and keep making more of these videos. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.